Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Ravi's Focus Eye. Coaching, receiving and giving feedback is a very important aspect of leadership. If you do it right, you can see growth in yourself and people around you. Hence, today I'm starting a series of four episodes in which I'm going to talk about four different tools which provides you a structured approach of giving feedback. And as a great leader, you would want to give actionable feedback so that people can move on from where they are to a better state tomorrow. And that is why structuring your feedback is very important. And hence, these tools are required to utilize when you have a situation where you have to give a corrective action or any kind of a discussion with your coach. In the series of four episodes, I'm going to talk about four different models. And each episode will have each model. We will discuss about each phase within that and probably discuss about some examples too. And that is going to give you a more better insight about the, each of these tools and probably encourage you to start utilizing them. The tools that we are going to talk about are Grow, SBI, Start, Stop, Continue, and Do Well, Do Differently. These are the four tools that we're going to talk about in each of those episodes. So let's start with the Grow model. In order to explain these tools, I'm going to take you through the Jamboard session and uh, we'll discuss each of these tools using that. So today, as we discussed, we are going to talk about the grow model. You could see, let's click on grow and uh, the abbreviation G R O W means G stands for goal. Now goal is what is the expected behavior or performance? What do we want to achieve? Right? What does the situation look like when the problem is resolved or the situation is resolved. So that's the futuristic situation that we are going to work for, right? Whether it is your coachee or your employee or, or anyone that you're discussing with to improve on certain areas of their uh, performance or their behavior. So what is it that you want to achieve? That's your goal. R stands for reality the current reality what are we seeing what is the current behavior what is the current performance what are the obstacles to achieve that performance or an optimum behavior and what all have you tried so these are the things that you would ask and try to understand the current reality and that gives you a picture of what you really need to work on because this is the place we are going to, where you are going to spend more time discussing with your coachy or your employee uh, and understand more about the current situation. So once that current situation is established, you're going to move forward and look at options. Now, O stands for options. And in this, the coachy is going to help you or probably you are you as a coach or a manager or a leader, you are going to support and help your employee to understand various options that are available to move forward towards the goal that you have. So what are the options? You got to lay, da lay down all those options and uh, also ask this question as to what would you do if you knew there was no option of failure? Obviously, there are certain things that a person can do, right? Your your adrenaline will kick in if, if you are going to be, if you are chased by a bull. Even you never run, but you will run, start running at that point of time. So that's, that is the kind of situation you're going to explain it to your coachy and explain and try to get an answer as to what are those things that that individual would do if there is no scope of failure. So while you discuss all of that, you got to get a couple of options or even more options, which you could try to reach the optimum behavior or performance level. And once you've got laid, uh, once you've got those options, then the last is way ahead. Way ahead, it is sometimes also labeled as will or will to do. But uh, for me, it, way ahead is more relevant because we are going to choose the best option out of all the options that we have looked at and then take our actions based on that. 
and go towards the uh, path of achieving the goal. Now, at this point, we are also going to ask a couple of other questions such as how are you going to implement this option or by when are you going to achieve or implement this option? So obviously, as we have discussed about smart goals where you need to have time bound and small goals, all of that has to be a part of this discussion so that you can understand as to whichever option you choose, you don't sit and procrastinate on that. You kind of make some uh, make some changes in your life, make some changes around the current reality so that you achieve the goal that you've set out. Now, talking about this GROW model, it gives you a structure to find out various actionable items that you can do to achieve the desired result. And which is why it is one of the most famous utility tool, whatever you want to call it, GROW model gives you that structure to achieve it in a really easy manner. So I hope that helps you understand the GROW model, each phase of GROW model, which is goal, reality, options, and way ahead. Hope you start using this model and see the magic in your own way. Thank you for tuning in today and uh, wait for the next video wherein I'm gonna talk about the SBI model, which is again, very important, but it is more towards the behavioral actions that you would really wanna take. And it solves a lot of problem as well. A very structured approach, but I will be waiting for you guys to join in and we'll share it within the next week. Till then, see you, bye-bye.